Today I'm going to show you how to reinstall macOS Big Sur on your Apple computer to hopefully fix any issues you might be having with the operating system. Ever since I updated my 2017 iMac to Big Sur, I've been having many issues. My iMac was booting in a loop and would crash shortly after getting to the desktop, and most recently it wouldn't even get past the Apple logo before crashing and rebooting itself again. It's been extremely unstable and slow, and I've had to reinstall Big Sur two times now to get it back up and running. So I figured I'd make a how-to video about how to do this. Before I get started, please take a moment to subscribe to the How To Do It All channel for more how-to videos. Before I walk through this process, it's worth mentioning that all of your files will still be intact on the hard drive as well as some of your settings after the reinstall, but you might need to reconfigure some of your desktop settings like screensaver, backgrounds, and other settings. First, make sure your computer is connected to Wi-Fi or a wired ethernet connection. Hopefully, if you're in a crash loop like I was, your Wi-Fi is already activated and your computer will be able to connect to the internet in recovery mode. If you're not sure if your Wi-Fi is connected or will work, then just be safe and connect it to a wired ethernet connection. Next, make sure that your computer is plugged into power and that you're using a wired keyboard and mouse. Bluetooth may not work in recovery mode. Next, you need to start up or restart your computer and as it's starting, hold down the command key and the R key at the same time. Now the process to get your computer into recovery mode on Apple Silicon Macs is a bit different, so I will get into that later in this video. When you see the Apple logo and hear the startup sound, you can let go of the keys. Your computer will now boot into recovery mode. You might be prompted to select your user profile and enter your password to log in. You will now see the Mac OS Utilities window and you will be presented with four options. There's a restore from the Time Machine backup, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you wanna go this route to restore your PC, then go for it, if you had a Time Machine backup drive set up before. The second option is to reinstall Mac OS. Now this is where we wanna be, but we will come back to that in a second. The third option is to get help online using Safari. This option will lead you to help options online to speak with an Apple technician, or just links to articles on how to fix various issues. That's not a very fun road to take. The final option is Disk Utility. You can select this option and run first aid on all of your hard drives to see if that fixes the issue you're having. I tried this first and it didn't work for me, but it's just good to know that you have this option to repair hard drives, run first aid, and delete drives from this recovery option if you need it. So we are going to reinstall macOS to refresh this computer, so let's do it. Click on Reinstall Mac OS, then click Continue. Follow the on-screen instructions and agree with the terms and conditions. Then select the disk you would like to install Mac OS Big Sur on. You may be asked to log into the hard disk, so simply type the password you used to unlock your Mac, and then Big Sur will start reinstalling itself from the internet. This could take a few hours or a few minutes. So sit back, relax, and cross your fingers and hope that everything works out the way you want it to. Do not try to turn off your Mac or close the lid during the installation. Just let it do its thing. It might restart multiple times during the process, so just wait it out. When it's finally finished, you'll be prompted to log into your Mac and boom! You will have a fresh operating system ready to roll and get back to work. Follow the prompts on the screen to navigate the setup process, then your Mac will hopefully be running like new again. It's always good practice to back up your files beforehand just in case something goes wrong. You can check out some of our related videos on how to get files off a dying Mac, how to use target disk mode, and how to network two Apple computers together. For newer Apple Silicon Macs, this process is a bit different. Now, I don't have one, so I'm gonna pretend with my MacBook Pro and walk you through the process. Choose the Apple menu, then shut down your Mac. Press and hold the power button until you see loading startup options. Select options, then click continue, then follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. Now there are other key combination options you can use for reinstalling different versions of Mac OS for Intel-based Macs. If you would like to reinstall the latest version of Mac OS that is compatible with your computer, select the Apple menu, then restart and immediately press and hold Option Command R and follow the steps to reinstall. To reinstall your computer's original version of macOS, which will include all the available updates, when you restart, press and hold Shift Option Command R. And finally, to reinstall the version of macOS that is stored in your built-in recovery volume, restart and then press and hold Command R. 
So those are all your options for reinstalling macOS on your Apple computer to hopefully fix whatever issues you might be having. If you like this video, then ring that bell and subscribe to How To Do It All for more how-to videos like this one. And check out our video on how to reset your PC if it's running slow. Good luck with macOS Big Sur and thanks for watching How To Do It All.